Hi friends, hope y'all are doing so well. Welcome back to my channel and another styling video. Today we're going to be talking all about different ways to elevate a basic outfit. So summer is such a wonderful time of the year to be able to relax into a more casual style and just kind of embrace that more basic looks because we can't do a lot of layering and things like that. But if you're anything like me and you find yourself kind of falling into a styling rut instead of being super creative with your own style, then this video might be for you. I wanted to share some tips and tricks on how I have been learning to elevate my more basic outfits, my more neutral outfits, just to give them a little bit more pop and color and fun. So. This video is going to be all about that, tips and tricks, and then showing you ways that I am taking a basic outfit and then turning it into something a bit more elevated. So starting with some of my five tips for how to elevate a basic style, number one is adding in color in unexpected ways. Now, if you know me, you know I am much more on the neutral side of things, no matter the season, but in the summertime, it is definitely fun to add in those pops of color in fun ways. One of my most favorite ways to do this is with accessories. So a silk scarf in a beautiful print with lots of colors, whether they're more muted colors or bolder bright colors is a beautiful way to do this. There are so many different ways that you can add a silk scarf into your summer outfit. You can create a belt with it. You can tie it on a bag. You can add it to your hair. You can add it to your wrist. And these are such fun ways, like I said, to add color. Another fun way is to create this very bold kind of contrast with adding black to your accessories. So obviously black, while it's a color, it's not a bright, fun summer color, but I really have been loving adding black to an otherwise neutral outfit. And just it adds a very bold kind of strong statement without really kind of trending in the neutrals. So whether that's a black, beautiful black bag or black shoes, gorgeous black belt or all three into an outfit, that's just a really great way to kind of add a bit more strength to your outfit, especially if it's trending on the sides of tans and whites and things like that. Tip number two is to replace a fabric in your outfit. So typically in the summertime, most of us kind of are drawn to the cottons and the linens, but when you're looking at an outfit and you're looking to elevate it just a little bit, choose maybe one piece of your outfit that is mm, an unexpected fabric, something like a knit or a silk. These are, these can be really good summer fabrics still, especially if the knit is a bit more open and the silk is 100% silk, so it's not going to be trapped trapping your body heat inside of you or something like that. So this is just a really nice way to add a bit of an unexpected edge to your outfit and elevate it just a little. Tip number three is to look for basics with some unexpected details. So whether you're shopping your own closet or you're going on a bit of a shopping spree for the rest of summer, look for items and look for even those basics, whether it's a white button down, whether it's a pair of denim shorts, whatever it is, look for the items that might have something like a beautiful covered button or a tortoiseshell button, a beautiful zipper and an unexpected place or snaps or closures, fasteners, something like that. Just look for some unexpected details. You can do this so easily shopping online and then in person. You can see those bits of detail that just really kind of make a piece of your outfit more elevated. So if you still want to stick to the basics, but you want to just up the game a little bit, look for some of those unexpected details. Tip number four is one of my most favorite and most used summer dress codes. It is create monochromatic or tonal outfits. This is just adds a very elevated and unexpected look to an entire outfit, whether you're wearing black on black or you're wearing a variations of uh, tans or browns or blues or whatever it is. It's really fun to kind of think outside the box, look at your color palette of your wardrobe and see what tonal or monochromatic looks you can put together. And tip number five is more on the mechanics side of things. 
So I was thinking about that quote by Coco Chanel where she said she looked in the mirror before walking out the door and took off one item, whether it was a scarf or a piece of jewelry or something like that. So for this, what I like to do is actually get dressed in just kind of my go-to, don't even think about it type of outfit. And then I try to challenge myself to replace one piece of that outfit with something unexpected that I already have in my wardrobe. Whether it's uh, I replace my basic white t-shirt with a silk tank that is also white, or I'm replacing my denim shorts with a denim skirt just for a little bit of a different look. Um, it's a really just good way to kind of challenge yourself to really get to know your own wardrobe, see what you have, see what pieces can work together, see if you are really interested in kind of embracing a different look or a different style, or if you're just super happy with the outfit you're wearing, then that's great and don't replace the thing. But if you're wanting to kind of elevate a more basic look, that's a fun kind of challenge to take on. Take off one piece of clothing that you currently have and replace it with something that you would not have thought of otherwise. So let's get into the mechanics of this. Let's get into where actually we are changing out these more basic outfits with more elevated looks. So the first outfit we are going to start with is, like I said, gonna be one super basic, super simple. It is going to be a pair of my go-to Levi's with a white tank. The first variation of this look is to elevate it just a little bit by adding that bold pop of color, pair of black heels and a black structured bag. It changes the whole look of this outfit without you ever needing to change a piece of clothing. For a more elevated casual take on this outfit, you could definitely pair it with a baseball hat or a straw hat of your choice, a pair of white sneakers, and then add a little bit of a pop of color and interest with a silk, silk scarf tied on one of your front belt loops of your denim. And you can easily elevate this look another way by going very feminine with a ruffle frill white tank that is very structural and a very different style than the first one, but still keeps with that white and blue theme. Add a pair of slides, your favorite hat for that women of mystery intrigue, and you have a beautiful, elegant, upscale version of the outfit you were wearing previously. Outfit number two is everyone's favorite basic summer look, and that is your little black dress. No matter what style, no matter what fabric, no matter what how it fits or what it looks like, if it's dressy, if it's casual, these tips will work for you. The first way to add some elevation and intrigue to your little black dress is by adding in a silk scarf, whether that's in your hair, whether that's tied around your neck, even you could turn it into a belt if you needed to cinch the waist of your little black dress in a little bit. Add it to your bag, add it to your wrist, however you wanna style this. A silk scarf is a beautiful way to add color, interest, and intrigue into your little black dress outfit. Variation two is as easy as throwing an oversized button down over the top of your little black dress. Add it with a pair of heels so you don't like your look like you're drowning in fabric and roll up the sleeves of your shirt so you don't look like you're wearing a painter's smock. But it's a great way to add some layering and dimension to your little black dress. If you are a kid of the 90s, you will probably have done this before when you were a child, but maybe not since. But that's just simply adding a t-shirt under a tank dress or spaghetti strap dress. It adds just a little bit of a different dimension. It makes it much more casual. Add a baseball hat, Birkenstock slides, and you have a very casual but still elevated look with the exact same pieces that you have been wearing. Outfit number three trends on the more casual side of things with a pair of denim shorts and a t-shirt. Again, you cannot get more basic than this. The first variation of this outfit is going to be very, very simply swap out your denim shorts with a denim skirt. This adds a different silhouette, it elevates the outfit a little bit, it's still just as easy, just as casual, but you're just going to have that little bit of a different look that you're going to be feeling like you're wearing a fully new outfit. 
Variation three of this outfit is very, very easy. All you have to do is take your normal shoes that you would pair with a casual outfit like this. For me, it's always my Birkenstock sandals and swap them out with a pair of elevated, beautiful flats. So I would normally pair these with, like I said, my Birkenstocks, but instead I'm going to pair it with these pointed toe flats that are beautiful and neutral. They match the basket bag that I added with this for a bit elevated touch and it elongates my leg as a petite and it just looks overall so beautiful. Variation three is again, so simple. And all you have to do is take a light cardigan, a button down, something like that, and just throw it over your shoulders. This adds that layer of layering without you feeling like you're going to ever be too hot because in reality, a light button down or even a light cardigan over your shoulders might actually be helpful for you as you're going into air conditioning buildings and things like that in the summer, but it just adds this preppy layer to a look and can definitely elevate it and make it much more interesting without really changing too much. And outfit number four channels our coastal grandmother vibes with a pair of tan linen pants and a white tank. Variation one for wearing linen pants and elevating linen pants in the summer is to add a more structured piece on your top. Linen pants are notorious for being light and loose and flowy and airy. And while that's wonderful, it can add a very unexpected edge if you put a more structural uh, piece, whether that be a piece that has a deeper V, a structured fabric, a puffed sleeve, ties on the sleeve like this shirt that I'm currently wearing. You can keep it in the same color family if you wanna be very neutral, but it just adds a little bit extra emphasis to the entire outfit. Version two of this is very simply just adding a swimming suit top and then a oversized button down shirt on top of your tan linen pants. This is especially if you have a swimming suit top or a one piece in a very fun, bold print. This is a great way to add some color into an outfit. You still feel like you're about to head to the beach or the pool at any moment, so it's very summery. But then if you want to have just a little bit more skin covered up, you can completely button your shirt or tie it or tuck it in or do whatever you want, but you still have a little bit of pop of color coming through. Another way to elevate this type of look is by pairing it with some bold black accessories. So adding a statement, simple, elegant black top, adding a pair of black slides, whether they're heels or flats, a structural, beautiful black bag, and then just so that my tan linen is not orphaned on its own, I decided to add this tan straw hat, but with this touch of a black ribbon around the brim, just for a bit of extra elegance and interest. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that these ways and tips and tricks to elevate your basic summer outfits are helpful for you. Stay tuned because we have a new video every week, sometimes twice a week. You can also follow me on all my other social media channels, Instagram, Pinterest, threads, and we just have a bunch of fun and share styling tips and home ideas and basically everything. So if you wanna follow me over there, I will leave the all of my social channels as well as my blog linked down below. As always, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and we'll see you next time.